What's up you YouTube sexy mother lovers? Welcome back to another video. On this one, I'll be painting uh, a blue metallic and a green candy. Now, I haven't actually painted this combination before, so I'm pretty excited. Now, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I know I've got a few, or well, quite a few new people on the channel. So uh, if you don't know, I'm Mark, and uh, I like to paint stuff and make videos. So um, in this video, we've got a, a panel, which I gave a quick little sand down with 800 grit on an orbital sander. Um, I haven't gone over it and got rid of all the shiny areas. This is just a test piece for uh, a spray of a couple of colors. Now, um, I painted this guard in one of DNA's videos quite a while ago. Um, it's a color shift pearl. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I'm pretty sure we don't sell it anymore. So, um, but yeah, you can see the, the green to blue color shift on it. So yeah, it's a pretty nice color. I'm pretty sure, yeah, as I said, we don't sell it. But, um, so in this video, guys, uh, blue metallic. So avatar blue and uh, aquamarine candy. So um, I'm expecting to get coverage of the blue metallic in probably three coats. Um, and then uh, I'll probably let it sit for probably five or 10 minutes uh, between coats. After the, after the last coat, I'll probably leave it for about 10 minutes and then start putting my candy down. Now, um, so the reason behind this um, is uh, a guy actually rang me the other day and he said, oh, uh, he's, he's wanting to paint his R33 Skyline in a candy. He's trying to achieve a certain color. And I said, look, DNA doesn't really sell that color off the shelf. But if you were to put down a different colored ground coat apart from silver uh, and then put a candy over it, you should be able to achieve it. So I said, look, when I've got some free time, I'll do a quick spray out over a panel and uh, see if I can achieve this color. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen, see if I can do that. I'll put a picture up on the screen of this car. It's a 300ZX, uh, so turbo two-door little pocket rocket thing so um <laughs> we're gonna um yeah so basically put a blue metallic down avatar blue if you're interested i'll show you the tin when we head in the paint room um but yeah aquamarine candy so it's like a like a teal bluey greeny kind of candy it's nice um i'll actually put a little link in your top right hand corner i think i painted the candy over virtual chrome last year or at the start of this year. But um, yeah, with that said, let's go mix up some colors. We'll give this panel a wipe down, get rid of that wax and grease remover off it. And um, we'll be right to start um, yeah, giving it a tack rag and uh, a bit of a paint with some new colors. So yeah, well, let's go jump in the paint room. I'll show you a little bit of the mixing of these colors. I got the chemist to uh, pull me off some candy. Um, but yeah, so with that said, let's go. Alrighty guys, so um, welcome to the DNA Paints mixing room. So this is where uh, pretty much I mix all my colors up. So um, what we're gonna do, get a cup out. Um, now, a lot of this paint up here is mine. So when I painted the Harley, yeah, there you go. So. There's your avatar blue. Sorry if the camera is flickering, it's because of the, the lights in here. So, uh, avatar blue, hopefully that label is not too reflective for you. So, uh, we'll sit this down and we'll angle it down so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, like that, that's good enough. All right, so, um, the ratio for the base coats, all the base coats, doesn't matter if it's a color shift, a metallic, um, a pearl color, doesn't matter, all 60-40. So 60%, oh, if I can get that off, 60% paint and 40% uh, reducer. So just to give you a bit of a look at this color. So that's the ground coat that I'm gonna use. Um, as I said, I've used this ground coat before and it's really, really nice under a candy. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. So throw that there. Uh, good thing about DNA cups is they've got the 60-40 on it. So saves going like 600, then 400. Did you just go bang like that? I reckon we'll use probably um, around that probably 300, 250 mil around there. So uh, we need base coat reducer. Um, 
I've got a big one up here. I'll just use my one. Um, it's one of those things like I get to, I guess it's some of the perks about working at DNA um, that if I've got a small project that I want to paint, I can usually just paint it. And as long as I make a video about it, um, I'm pretty much right to just help myself, kind of, kind of, like, I can't go and paint a whole car, but if I've got, like, a small little project like this, then um, I can kind of just paint it. So, um, that's our colour, so we'll just give that a, a stir up. Um, so, yeah, we're roughly, I don't know, as at a guess, we're at, yeah, 400 mil. So, yeah, there'll be heaps to put three coats down. Um, the colour shift panel in the booth, it's kind of dark when you go and start putting uh, dark metallics over the top. So we should get coverage pretty quickly, I reckon. Alrighty, so we've got our base coats, uh, ooh, our base coat all mixed up. Um, I'm making a, a mess. So um, here's the candy. So as I said, maybe before I got the chemist to pour it off. Uh, let me just put that down. Last thing I want to be doing is making a big mess with candy. Um, if you guys don't, know what candy actually is it's like a dye like food coloring so if you were to um if you were to get it on your clothes or get it on your fingers um yeah you're going to be in trouble so as you can see it's transparent now the camera i'll try and color grade it uh, so you can see this color but this color and a lot of the greens and blues on camera it's it's not the real color so right now um, it's almost <laughs> it's almost the same color as my jumper, but my jumper's not coming up as the same color either. But anyway, you get the idea. It'll look ten times better once I color grade it, um, and once it's on the panel. So uh, mixing ratio for this guys is um, one to one. So very similar to like the old school base coats or base coat, not so much old school, but base coats other than DNA. So we'll take it to the four um, and we'll reduce this down as well. So um, yeah, won't have much of a problem. I'm trying to do this one hand, it's pretty tricky, I must admit. So let's take it up to the four like that. And that's our candy mixed up. So as I said earlier, uh, probably three coats of the blue and then between the three and five, maybe three to six coats of this candy. I've never done this color combination before, so I'm not exactly sure how many coats I'll do, but that's the beauty about uh, doing test spray outs. Now, I always recommend that to people. So um, if you've got a color idea in your head and you're like, oh, I wanna try and achieve this, don't just go and start painting your car. Do a test spray out on a panel like I am. Uh, it saves you a lot of money, a lot of time, um, and you can obviously achieve the color that you're after. So yeah, anyway, let's jump a spray suit on and let's get in the booth and start painting.
Alrighty guys, guns all nice and clean. Uh, our blue's down. I ended up putting three coats down and a drop coat. Uh, the drop coat will kind of make the metallics stand up and sparkle more. Um, and will even out any unevenness that may be on the panel. Now, I didn't have any model or anything like that. I just like to do a drop coat. It does make the candies look a little bit better. Always put a candy filter in your gun or in your pot before you pour your paint in. This will strain out any uh, seeding in the candy, um, if there is any. Um, I've worked at DNA Paints uh, almost two years now. Not once have I seen any candy uh, seeding. So yeah, just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're pretty full at the moment. <laughs> So yeah, we'll uh, put our lid on and uh, we'll go throw some coats down. Let's see if we can achieve this color. Now, I've got some candy dripping down my gun. So we'll try and wipe that up without making a mess. Last thing you want is candy like dripping on your panel. <laughs> that will pretty much be uh, uh, a repaint or uh, you can apply more base coat over the top of the candy to hide it but um yeah <laughs> we, were, we were lucky that we just yeah picked up on it but yeah all right let's go let's put our glove back on and um we'll start painting this candy
Alrighty guys, so our candy's down. I ended up putting four coats of candy over that guard, or over the blue, Avatar blue. Super nice color. Um, at the moment, uh, post-production, or before production, is it post-production? Well, before I've actually done the color grading on it, um, I'll put it before and after. I'll try and make it look more like the color. Um, so here we've got our custom clear. Uh, four to one, no reducer. Uh, we'll use probably the medium, slow, fast, medium. The medium hardener, uh, just because I wanna give it um, a little bit of a bake uh, once I've finished painting it and then th throw it outside so I can show you guys what it looks like out in the sun. It's a beautiful day here in Melbourne, uh, what today, so, uh, it kind of makes sense to give it a quick little bake and throw it outside. Uh, not a full bake, just like a 10-15 um, a minute bake, just so we can handle it, so we can take it outside. Um, but yeah, so custom clear uh, for <clears throat> all the new people on my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, for all the new people on my channel, um, my personal favorite clear from DNA is the custom clear. Super nice. <clears throat> this is what I used on that uh, orange XB coupe. Uh, yes, yeah, beautiful clear. Love it. Super love it. It's really, really good. So, yeah, um, we've, we've cleaned our gun <clears throat> uh, 190 micron filter. Pull that in there. That would give us about 500 mil in our pot. And we'll go throw probably two or three coats down of this um, with about 10 minutes between coats. What do you reckon of that? Yeah, a bit plain. A bit plain, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're we'll with a light on it. Make a pot more, yeah, which I'm about to do. You can see that blue underneath it, it looks wicked. Yeah. Once it's got the clear coat on it, once it's outside, you'll see more of that green on the flip. Yeah. Custom, yeah, yeah. It is my favourite clear. Oh, good. I'm recording you, by the way. I'm recording you. I'm gonna put you on my YouTube, make you famous. You're already famous. Yeah, for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Yeah, you do, mate. Yeah, a good face of radio. That's it. Like you? Yeah, like me.
Alrighty guys, so there you go. There's the um, uh, the Avatar Blue and the Aquamarine Candy. Now, uh, put two coats of clear on it. Um, I haven't given it a bake. It is pretty wet still, obviously. Um, I figured uh, it's only a test panel, so why not just uh, let it flash off and we'll take it outside anyway. So um, I might just let it sit for probably an extra five minutes <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, we'll open up the doors and we'll get it outside for a bit of a look um, while the sun's out. It's a, yeah, a nice day outside. So um, yeah, I really wish that um, the colors would show up on the camera like they do in person um like even with the light on it it just blows it out like on the gopro um in person it looks wicked like it's it's got like a nice teal kind of color to it uh it's not too green um i can see that blue underneath like on top looks really nice um yeah you can kind of see it's blue on camera but i'll see if i can uh photoshop or not photoshop it but color grade it um and try and make it look a bit better than, or a bit more realistic to what it looks like. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Uh, Aquamarine Candy over Avatar Blue Metallic. So yeah, anyway, hope you've all enjoyed this video. I'll roll on a few little pieces of footage of it outside and uh, you guys take it easy. If you are new to the channel, please do me the favor. Hit that like and subscribe button if you've enjoyed this. And um, yeah, I'll try and do some more videos of painting out stuff um, yeah, coming up. I, uh, I enjoy doing the old YouTube channel, YouTube videos um, and showing you guys some pretty cool colors. So anyway, you guys take it easy and I'll see you lot on my next video. Cheers. Oh, how convenient is that? I've, I come outside, the sun's blaring and then as soon as I get the guard out here, the sun goes away. Alrighty guys, sun is finally out. Let's take a look, eh? So yeah, as you can see, it's really vibrant green when the sun's on it. Um, hopefully we can get it in a better spot. Um, yeah, so super vibrant uh, in the sunlight. It's got that real dark like drop off uh, which is nice uh, it's very blue but then very green as well because of that candy so yeah super nice color I quite like it yeah I'd love to see a R33 get painted in this color It'd be quite nice yeah it's not bad at all Now the sun's coming out, even better.